and gentlemen, my name is Alex, and alongside me, the other commentator, Vader. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm commentator Vader, and join the Star Fox Jetson. And today, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Thursday, welcome to Tuesday Night Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Rivals Night. Sorry for saying it was Thursday, I actually thought it was Thursday, but today is Tuesday. Hope you guys are enjoying your Hope you guys are enjoying your week. We are this close to St. Patrick's Day. It will be coming up soon. It will be coming up actually this Friday, Vader. Well, yes, it is. The luck of the art. Yes, it is. And we'll be doing that, Alex. But on top of that, there's one thing we have to discuss about. We have to discuss about what we just witnessed last week's fight and what we're going to witness this week's fight. Yes, indeed. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting things off with Falco versus Ike. Now, we have not seen this match in a while. It's been like at least two years since we see this fight. Last time we saw Fog, Falco and Ike face each other, it was two years ago. Sometime, I believe, around 29, 28, 2020, I believe. And obviously, Falco was not doing a good job going against Ike. Ike was dominating Falco for like the longest. Falco tried to make a comeback out of this, but then obviously, you know, got knocked off. And obviously that's when Fox stepped in and took down I and that's when Fox stepped in and took down I. Now that Fox has had other rivalries going on. We already know that he has a rival he's having a rivalry with Mega Man, obviously. Now Falco is starting to step back in and get back what he has lost against Fal against Ike. And I think it's a pre and I think it's a pretty good thing to see that happening. That's right, and if you haven't noticed, ladies and gentlemen, between between Mega Man and Fox. Fox and Mega Man are one and one in one and one in one and one competitions. Unfortunately, when it comes to tag team competitions, Fox is o Fox is two and zero against Mega Man. But in one and one competitions, both of them are one and one. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that with that being said, you guys already know the drill. If you guys like what you see, make sure you make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you get. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you guys like to see more of this not of this total non-stop action fighting of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Rivals Night. Cut just every Tuesday, every Thursday night. We do that every Thursday, every Tuesday and Thursday night. Rivals Night on Super Smash Brothers. And hit, make sure you hit the bell for notifications. So we're not gonna keep this intro short. We're not gonna keep this intro long. We're just gonna dive right in. Vader, what do you think we're gonna be seeing out of this? Well, we're going to see our uh, old rivalry being renewed in the year of 2023. And obviously, I have to say, Alex, I am going to be pleased about this because we're starting things off a little bit differently. And that will be it. All right. With that being said, let's stop talking and let's get on with the action. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Tuesday Night Falco versus Ike. Three, two, Who will win? One. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you guys know, this match is a time match. It's a time match for the first time because we have seen these guys going against each other. And obviously, this is the first time we're going to be seeing them battle it out. Ooh, good job by Falco. He gives, he gives Ike a warning. And I don't think there's, I don't think there's any items in there, is there, Alex? Nope, there's no, I, I believe there's no items in this match. I guess Falco wants to finish this on his own. I guess he wants to start things with no items and no special. Ooh! Oh my goodness! Falco goes for the illusion and then I sacrifice his body, sacrifice himself to get the win, almost lost himself. Almost did, but not entirely. Good job by Falco, keeping up the pace with Ike. He's shooting the wrong way, though. That's an idiot mistake. Ooh, good job with the good job with the reflector. Falco has been learning a lot. He has been doing his homework against these guy against Ike. He's been watching tapes about how his rivalry with Fox and between Fox and uh between Fox and Ike. Well, yeah, obviously that was a one single rule because uh, because if you don't if you don't do your homework on this kind of stuff, you will never know what it's like to fight and be learning how to be a champion. Ooh, those hands by ooh. Oh my goodness. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice sword slash. I, I, oh my goodness. Ooh, he goes for the kick. Oh, the slash. You know, when it comes to Falco's illusion, it's not as strong as Fox. But that kick is as Fox as well. These two, rival these two are definitely having a rivalry. One for the books. Octave, Falco, and Ike. Falco and Ike. Ike is trying to get the win over here against Falco, and obviously that's not happening. Oh, oh my goodness! Ike has a limp, has tried to go over more, over Falco, and he does. He's over two and one. Ooh, can Falco try to get the tiebreaker here? Good job by Falco, trying to keep the pace up with against. Oh my goodness! Now the one simple mistake that Falco keeps doing is that he keeps on diving in into, uh, into Ike. And he cannot be doing that because if he does that, Ooh. that's what's going to cause a problem. Oh, the slash attack by Ike. <laughs> 28 seconds left in the game block. Oh! Oh! And it's a tie, Vader! We got a tie here! Oh! Well, we did until now. Look at this, 10 seconds left on the game clock. Can these two actually come back? Who is gonna make the big one? Oh, time is up. Who is gonna win this one? The Illusion Falco! Oh! No items, no specialties. Falco got a win over Ike for the first time in the game in this channel. I have to say that was a good fight right there. Falco versus Ike. Renewed old rivalry time, and obviously you saw this time a victory over Falco Lombardi. A victory on Falco Lombardi, I'm sorry to say, over, I mean, over Ike. Wow, what a terrific match and what an exciting one. Falco overcame Ike for the first time. Now, if Fox, I know Fox is probably seeing this and he is very proud of that. Normally, that would be me who would be saying something like that. Well, yeah, I know you would be saying something like that, Alex, but just hear me out. Even though he's, even though he's actually excited, he's very proud of, of with one of his teammates from the Star Fox team. I mean, yeah, the 30th anniversary passed, but obviously you have to see that that 30th anniversary is not has not turned has not put a rust on any of the members of the Star Fox team. You know, honestly, Vader, that would be something that normally I would say. Why would you say that all of a sudden? You know, you know, Alex. Sometimes I just don't know. I just don't know. Maybe it's because of the word Star Fox, Star Wars. Shut up, Alex. Just shut up and just go on with the next match. Okay, I don't care about the comparison between Star Fox and Star Wars. Just, just congratulate this guy. Just move on to the next match. All right. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Falco for getting a win over Ike. Let's move on to the next match of the night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next match is Banjo versus Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie versus Steve. And this is gonna be a good one right here, ladies and gentlemen. You see these two right here having a fight. The last time these two fought each other, it was against, it was at Banjo State, it was at Banjo's home. But now, oh wait, no, actually, I'm sorry. It was somewhere in Corneria, I believe. Or I believe it was somewhere, I don't know. It was somewhere though. But these two are now gonna have a fight here. The rematch, the last time these two fought each other, Steve took the victory over Banjo. And now obviously we know that Banjo is now a good fighter and all this other stuff. And obviously we know that Banjo caught Steve at a bad time because he's over here farming. And I just don't like that. 
Andy, even though we hear farming. Have you ever played the game Minecraft before? I probably have. There goes a fake one. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> that's what happens when you try to, that's what happens when you temper with that one. Banjo try to get the fake one. And I think Steve got it. Oh, and he got Banjo with the specialty right there. And it looks like Banjo's about to go for a world trip out of here. And he does. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Steve is not an idiot. He knows what he has to do. Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie are now trying to. Ooh, and they got Steve with the specialty. Good job. Banjo Kazooie is actually losing this one, and obviously they need to do a better job on trying to control whatever they're doing. Ooh, good job by Steve. He's giving that one a go. Steve is trying to end this whole entire thing between him and Banjo. Good job by Banjo. Good job by Steve. Uh oh, ooh! Banjo! Steve reverses the item and uses it against Banjo, and Banjo can do it once again. Takes the loss over Steve. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Come on, Banjo-Kazooie. You guys are the oldest characters in the Nintendo franchise, and you mean to tell me that you lost to a computer game? A computer game? A, a Minecraft game? Are you kidding me? Oh, you guys need to hit the gym so, so, so bad because that was just awfully, awfully terrible performance that I just saw right there. I mean, first of all, you guys could have had that match if you guys didn't hit that fake, that fake, uh, 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 thing. And then Steve still owns you guys, obviously. And then the next thing you know, you guys still got owned. You guys still lost to him. Y'all need some definite training. I, this is not the banjo. This is not the banjo kazooie that I actually saw when it first came in here. This is a whole totally different banjo kazooie. I thought these guys were unstoppable, but obviously I was wrong. All right, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Steve giving the win over Banjo once again. Let's move on to our next match. Maybe there might be a rematch. For the third time, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. This ought to be a good fight right here, ladies and gentlemen. We got Captain Falcon, Three, former tourney champion, going against Terry Bogart, another go. former cha tourney champion, going against Ganondorf. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this fight is going to be a terrible one. Ooh. This is going to be a good one right here. I can tell you that. We have seen these two characters. We have seen... Uh, Terry Bogart going against, going against Ganondorf. Ooh, good job, almost there with a the star. Oh, the knee right there. Ooh, Terry Bogart losing the star right there. We are seeing the best fighters here in the game right now. That is Ganondorf who first started off. With, Ooh! with Captain Falcon's fighting style in Super Smash Bros. Melee. A good fight right there between Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon. Oh! Two for the price of one, Captain Falcon! He's coming in with that one. And here goes Terry Bogart. Oh! He caught one person with it. Ooh, he caught Ganondorf. Ganondorf, Captain Falcon, Terry Bogart. Terry Bogart, whose rivalry is starting to show, whose rivalry has started to show with these two teams. Captain Falcon, ooh. Captain Falcon, who was a former tourney champion, has decided that he does not want to take seat in this one. He wants to join into any fight, and they put him into a three-way fight between the rivalry of Terry Bogard and Ganondorf. Terry Bogard has beaten Ganondorf twice, and now these two are, getting, are in a third match. Oh! Are 
in the are in their third, well, pretty much almost third match, but not really. Oh, Terry Bogart has been eliminated. Oh! It's now Ganondorf and Captain Falcon, the two who is Super Smash Brothers. The one who has copied Captain Falcon's moves from the very beginning. Ooh. It's a good thing that Captain Falcon did to eliminate that item. Oh! Oh! Ganondorf just knocked down Captain Falcon! How in the world did you manage to do that? <laughs> Get it, Dwarf Sick. With Captain Falcon, I am the one who had those moves before he did. <laughs> now that was a good rivalry fight right there. I'm not going to lie to you. Captain Falcon was very close, but Ganondorf saw the weakness and he saw his opportunity. Captain Falcon had that opportunity right there, but he came up very short. Without Ganon without Terry Bogart there, the fight between those two was just almost as perfect. But they were not focusing on Captain Falcon the whole entire time. They were focusing on each other. Terry Bogart and Ganondorf was focusing on each other because they still have a little bit of rivalry going on. Well, yes, you can see the hatred in you can see the hatred in you can see the hatred eyes in Ganondorf. He still has hate for Terry Bogart for beating him not once but twice. And now, not only did he beat him, and not only did he beat him, but he also beat Captain Captain Falcon. So now. Maybe this might have a new rivalry between Captain Falcon and Ganondorf, I don't know. Or maybe it could be a three-way fight between these two to see who is going to face whoever or something like that. I have no idea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go on to our, fight, or to our next and final match of the night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next match is the last tag team match. It's Zelda, it's Rosalina Luma and Princess Zelda, two-time turning champion, going against Pauline. Going against Palatina and Violet. And a song is being played by Paul Lee and Mario from Mario Odyssey. Ooh, good job here. As you already know, ladies and gentlemen, it's National Women History Month. And obviously, we are seeing the very best out of these two right here, right now. Oh, who summoned the Pokemon? I believe it was other than. Ben. None other than, ooh, I believe it was Rosalina, who summoned the, who used the Master Pokemon who got it first. I thought it was Byler who got it, but obviously that's a good job right there. We're in New Dawn City, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, wait a minute, what happened to someone's specialty? I think she died. Good job by Paul Lee, I mean Rosalina, surviving. Oh my goodness. The two-time tourney champion is in trouble now, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Oh my goodness, she got Zelda right there, but this on Rosalina. Alexander was trying to get Rosalina right there, but obviously that didn't happen. Rosalina surviving this one, and she used her specialty on these two right here. She used it on none other than Palatina. Good defense is creating great offense, and obviously you can see it right there. Oh! Oh! Rosalina and Luma lost a stock right there. Rosalina and Zelda has two stocks right there, two stocks. So does Palatina, Palatina, and... Oh! Oh! Now Palatina got one stock left. Palatina. Rosalina and Luma are doing an actually very good job with this fight right here. Good defense has created great offense, and obviously you can see it. You can see that these two are now having a fight here. Can Rosalina secure her first tag team win, or can she get a win with none other than a two-time turkey champion? Ooh! Free stock has been used as Valentina was eliminated. And you can see it right there. Oh. My goodness, these two are having a fight of their life. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. 
the two-time tourney champion and Rosalina has defeated Palatina and Bylath. Wow, that's the first time you have seen these two finally co finally coexist for the first time ever. Why? You actually think that's Princess Daisy and Princess Zelda? Let me just clear let me just clarify it. It's not, okay? It's Rosalina and Zelda. Uh, and Zelda. Zelda is also a two-time tourney champion, and she needs to have some respect on her name as well. She is a former two-time tourney champion, as well as Princess Daisy. And as of right now, what you just saw was good defense that created great offense. And these two, I believe, are going to be a... I believe, me, me personally, I believe that these two could be a good team together. So you're saying that these two have good defense and they can create great offense together. Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, if you look at, Ro if you look at Zelda the whole entire time, what was she doing? Defending. Obviously, she was getting blown up and obviously... Yes, you can see her getting that, but Rosalina was taking much, most of the heavy heavy damage because she was going out there trying to be on offense side, which I don't know why, but she tried to go back into the defense side, so you gotta give her respect for that. So for the first time, she finally got her first w win, but it was in a tag team match. So yes, congratulations to the blue team, which is Rosalina and Princess Zelda, two-time two tourney champion. Well, enough of that being said, ladies and gentlemen. And speaking of which, before we end this, my, before we end this, speaking of tag teams, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, let me just say this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our game. My name is Alex, and alongside me, another commentator fan saying thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification to get notified for the next Rival Night game, which will be this Thursday. And speaking of tag team Vader. We have two teams that are 5 and 0. Oh. That's Bowser Jr. and Female Corin. And the other team is Mario and Kirby. Now, we don't know if it's going to be this Thursday or probably next Tuesday or probably or probably next Thursday, I believe. Or maybe we or maybe this Thursday, I don't know. But we don't know who's going to win that fight. Wait, I want your thoughts. Well, my thoughts are this. I'm going to put up a poll to see who is going to get, who is going to be 6 and 0. Oh. Who is going to be the team to win 6 and 0? Oh? Who is going to be the best of the best to get 6 and 0? Oh? I don't know who is it going to be, but this is going to be a confusing match because both teams have been dominating other teams as well. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. But Vader, what's your thought? My thought is this: Bowser Jr. is the heir and the next heir to, to the throne of the Koop, of the Koopas, right? So obviously, I'm going to go with Bowser Jr. Female Core, and they're, they're, they're denying it. I'm going with those two. Those two have been dominating every team that they, that stepped into the way. The first one was uh the first one was none other than Min Min, and who was it? Min Min. And Duck Hunt dominated. Second one, Yoshi and Princess Peach dominated. Third, Ken and Ryu dominated. Fourth, <clears throat> fourth was Diddy Kong and and um and Zero Suit Summers. They came close, but dominated still. They came close to beating Bowser and Rose and uh, female Corrin, but got dominated as well. So I'm going with them. So you're going with them? Yes. But what about the Mario brother? What about Mario and Kirby? They're going to get dominated, obviously. Y you know what? The reason why Kirby got a lot of those wins, I like Kirby. There's nothing wrong with him. But it's Mario I just don't like. He's a cheater. Why? He cheats in every game. Let's see. The first match he had was against Wario King DDD cheated to win. Second match was against uh 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 who was it? It was against somebody and they cheated and win. I forgot. I gotta look at the. I gotta look at the. Uh, oh no. Um. Who was? Who was it? Darn it. Who was it? I sworn. I, I forgot the second match. But the third match I know was it was uh Meta Knight and Donkey Kong. They cheated. He cheated that one. The fourth one was Sonic and Link. Cheated that match. 
Link had that match in the palm of his hands. He could have won, but no. Mario, obviously, and Kirby, however, came into the last minute and did a stupid rescue, and this is what happens. I can't believe this. None. Well, that's your opinion, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, later on tomorrow or later on tonight, we will put a poll on to see, to put a poll up, poll up, for you guys to comment or vote. Who is going to be 6-0? and oh? Which team will be 6-0? and oh? Bowden Jr. and female Corrin or Mario and Kirby? The choice is yours. But until then, so, well, uh, Vader, did you say your thing yet? No. I am commentator Vader say Sayadar. May the Dark Force be with you all. May the Star Force Jeff Force be with you all. May the Bowser Jr. and the Corrin Force be with you all, people. It's their time, not Mario time. Maybe a little bit Kirby. Not Mario time and definitely not Kirby time. I'm sorry, Kirby, but not your time until you get a new tag team partner. And please get rid of Mario. And don't go teaming up with Luigi or don't go teaming up with Yoshi. Team up with someone that you know that is going to guarantee you a win. Well, with that being said, so long, ladies and gentlemen, and see you guys at the next Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Rival Night.